Hello and welcome everyone. So, I am previous year question paper in this class. This video is a Indian political portion. I am going to discuss it. So, let's see. So, the first question is right to education belongs to which of the following categories? So, the options are directive principles, fundamental rights, fundamental duties, or legal duties. So, the correct answer will be fundamental rights. So, right to education is a fundamental right under Article 21A. Then, disputes regarding the election of the President and Vice President of India are decided by which of the following? So, the options are the Election Commission of India, the Parliament, the Supreme Court of India, the Rajya Sabha. So, the correct answer is the Supreme Court of India. Then, through which Constitution Amendment Act of a reservation of students belonging to SCOBC in admission to private unaided educational institutions is provided. So the options are 92nd in 2003, 93rd in 2005, 94th in 2006, 95th in 2009. So the correct answer will be 93rd in 2005. Then, which of the following is not included in the state list in the constitution of India? Options are police, law and order, prisons, passport. So the correct answer is passport. Then, which of the following can initiate the process of impeachment of the President of India? So the options are only in Lok Sabha, any house of the parliament, only Rajya Sabha, the Supreme Court of India. So the correct answer will be any house of the parliament. Then, who among the following is the ex official chairman of the Rajya Sabha? Options are the President of India, the Prime Minister of India, the Vice President of India, the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi. So the correct answer is the Vice President of India. Then, Panchayati Raj was first introduced in India in October 1959 in which of the following state? Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Kerala or Karnataka? So the correct answer will be Rajasthan. Then, which part of the constitution of India provides for establishing India as a welfare state? So the options are Fundamental Rights Part 3, Schedule 3 of the Indian Constitution, the Preamble of the Constitution, Directive Principles of State Policy Part 4 of the Constitution. So the correct answer will be Directive Principles of State Policy Part 4 of the Constitution. Then the three lists Union list, state list, concurrent list are mentioned in which of the following? 5th schedule, 6th schedule, 7th schedule or 8th schedule? So the correct answer will be 7th schedule. This is also known as the federal scheme. Then, at the time of enactment of the constitution, which one of the following ideals was not included in the preamble? So the options are liberty, socialism, equality or justice. So the correct answer will be socialism. It was included by the 42nd Amendment Act of 1976. Then, which one of the following department is responsible for the preparation and presentation of the union budget to the parliament? So the options are finance, revenue, expenditure or economic affairs. So the correct answer will be finance. Then. Which one of the following articles empowers the president to nominate not more than two members of the Anglo-Indian community to the Lok Sabha? So the options are Article 79, Article 114, Article 331, Article 334. So the correct answer will be Article 331. Then, to be recognized as a national party, a political party must be a recognized party in at least Six states, four states, five states, or ten states. So the correct answer will be four states. Then, what is the maximum strength of the Lok Sabha provided by the Constitution of India? Options are 552, 545, 530, or 500. So the correct answer will be 552. Then, what is the maximum permissible time gap between two sessions of the parliament? So the options are 3 months, 6 months, 9 months or 12 months. So the correct answer will be 6 months. Then, the most essential feature of the parliamentary form of government is the sovereignty of the parliament, written constitution, accountability of the executive to the legislature or independent judiciary. 
so the correct answer will be accountability of the executive to the legislature then if in an election to the state legislative assembly the candidate who is declared elected loses his deposit that then it means that polling was very poor the election was for a multi-member constituency the elected candidate's victory over his nearest rival was very marginal or a very large number of candidates contested in the election so the correct answer will be d a very large number of candidates contested in the election so at this we come to the end of this video next video to dummy 2014 or question can we discuss for him so hope you like the video if you like the video please share it and subscribe to our channel to get more updates thank you